year kicked off this morning in Saskatchewan and in Regina's Douglas Park neighborhood. A brand new school opened its doors for the very first time. Promoted as a building which would revolutionize the way schools are designed in the future. Many are eager to see how it turned out. And our own Dale Hunter was among the lucky few invited inside. It's not often you find a garage door inside an elementary school classroom. I'm writing welcome. But then it's not often you find teachers writing on the windows like they were blackboards. Stools that are supposed to rock. Or windows overlooking an elevator shaft. Welcome to the new Douglas Park Elementary. We want students to be able to be the best learners they can, which means some flexibility as far as what furniture they use, um, the way the classrooms are set up. So the school is very open. Lots of big rooms that can be sectioned off as needed. There are also lots of windows and natural light. Even the gymnasium has windows. And there are plans to hold some classes outdoors on the roof. Furniture is diverse in style, color, and even height. It's a little bit different than what we're used to, but we were trying some of these concepts in the old building too, so it's not too far different. Ah yes, the old Douglas Park School. Small traditional school desks, lots of cracked walls and floors, and lots of stairs with no elevator. The new Douglas Park not only has an elevator, there are windows on the side of it so kids can see how the elevator's machinery works. A big improvement all around. Oh, there is so much that we're looking forward to. Uh, our teachers are working together collaboratively. They've got some really great plans for the kids. Um, there will be some really interesting learning projects and um, this fabulous new building to work in. It's a new school with a very new design, at least as far as schools in Regina go. And if it proves as successful and popular as they hope, it could be the model for many other schools in Regina in the years ahead. Dale Hunter, CTV News, Regina. Well, parents have been invited to come tour the new building at a private event later tonight, a more public grand opening.